Hello children, how are you all? Have you enjoyed all the lessons till now? Yes, now we are going to start a new lesson which is very interesting story. So our parents also, our grandmas, they said this kind of story, similar one but not this one. So you can enjoy this one also. What is that story name? Here I wrote, yes, a swan with golden feathers. A swan with golden feathers. Have you seen a swan with the golden feathers? You know the swan, right? But with the golden feathers, have you seen? Generally white color we have seen. But do, have you seen golden feathers? No. If we have golden feathers, immediately we take off, right? But here, what happened in this story we can see. But before going to this, first of all, do you cheat anyone? Cheating, you know? Yes. But is it correct one? No. Okay. So, if someone cheats you to fulfill his greediness, what will you do? So, fulfill his greediness. Greediness means, yes, I want, I want more, 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 I want. How much you give it? Still, yes, I want more. Right. So, if one, if someone cheats you to fulfill his greediness, what will you do? So, do you accept them next time? No. So, do you ever harm anybody to fulfill your greediness? Yes, I want, 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 like that feeling. Do you uh, harm anyone? No, very good children you are. But we should not harm any others to fulfill our greediness, our dreams, our wanting something. Okay, so we should not be greedy because greed is very harmful to us as well as for others. So we should not uh, greedy because greed is very harmful very dangerous not only to us to everyone that is dangerous anyone who wants to cheat the others with the greediness so who are greedy people definitely they suffer a lot and they make the others also suffer a lot that's why don't be greedy and read the story of a golden swan who helped a poor woman, who helped a poor woman, but the woman harmed the golden swan to fulfill her greed. So see that by seeing the poor old woman, poor woman, the swan ready to help her, but that woman became very greedy and uh, it hurt the uh, swan also. So what happened? So, we can see in this poem. Okay, children. So, see the poem. Once upon a time, once upon a time, there was a swan that had striking golden feathers. So, there was a, a swan that had striking golden feathers. So, striking means what? So, striking. Striking means noticeable, special. Okay. So, uh, noticeable, observe, okay. So, everyone can observe, strike it. So, once upon a time, any story is long, long ago, once upon a time, na, there was a swan that had striking golden feathers. It has, so everyone can observe. So, like that, it has golden feathers. This swan lived in a pond. Where it lives? It lived in a pond. There was a house near this pond where a poor woman lived with her two daughters. So, near to there was there was a house near to that pond. So, the swan is living in that pond. Near to that pond, a, a house is there. In that house, who are living? A poor woman with his with her two daughters. How many daughters are there? Two daughters to the poor woman right these people were really poor and were leading a tough life so tough life tough means difficult tough life means difficult life so with full of problems okay leading a tough life so these people are really poor they are really poor and leading they were leading a very tough life difficult life the swan found that the poor mother was 
passing a hard time with her daughters. So the swan found, the swan observed and at last found that, gather the information that the poor mother was passing a hard, was passing, passing means leading a hard and hard time with her daughters very difficult time with her daughters that means they have no food to eat properly they have no money like that so she was facing very problem good, much problems that's why the that the swan found it what happened the swan thought if i give them one one after another my golden feathers the mother can sell them. So the swan thought, what it thought, what this swan thought, if I give them one after another, what are those? My golden feathers. So I have beautiful golden feathers. That golden feathers, one after the another, not all of a sudden, because at a time all the feathers removed means the swan can fly, the swan can get the life. No, that's why one after another, uh, these uh, feathers if I give, by selling them she will get the money and she can lead very pleasant life. How great it is. The swan thought about the poor woman. And so the mother can sell them. She and her daughters can live in comfort with the money raised from it. So money raised, raised means getting. So by selling the feather, they get the money. Now. So with that, the mother and her daughters lead a very happy life. That the swan thought. After thinking this, the swan flew away to the poor woman's house. So whenever the swan got this idea, immediately this swan ran, ran away to the, flew away, flying, flew away to the mother's house, poor mother's house, poor woman's house. On seeing the swan inside the house, the woman said, why have you come here? We have nothing to offer. So whenever the swan entered into the house, the mother said, why did you come here? Why have you come? Nothing is with me to offer you. No food with me to give you. We only have no food. How can I give food to you? So that she said, we have nothing to offer you. So the swan replied, I have not come to take anything, but I have something to give you. I, the swan said, replied, the swan gave the answer, I have not come to take anything, but I have something to give you. So don't worry, I didn't, I came here not to take from you, that I want to give something to you. So I know your condition, I know your condition. What is this condition? So condition means it is a situation or the state of something, the state of something that is position of something state of something or position of something okay children so that is i know your condition i know your position how difficult time you are facing so i will give my golden feathers one by one and you can sell them i can give i'll give my golden feathers i have these golden feathers so i'll give one by one to you and you can sell them so by selling that what did she get yes money with the money raised through it you people can easily live in comfort so by selling that you will get the money and with that you can lead your life very comfortably okay very comfort that the swan suggested after saying this the swan shed one of her feathers and then flew away so by telling that daily one one feather one after another i give na that she said that's why immediately she um, shed shed one after another shed one feather shed means left left one feather and immediately it flew away from that place this became a regular feature and from time to time the swan came back and every time left 
another feather so this became a regular feature regular feature activity quality okay regular activity daily or frequently to once every day or two days once like that it was coming and that it was leaving a feather and it was flying away like that it's going on and like this the mother and her daughters were happily leading their life by selling the feathers of the golden swan so then daily they are getting feathers na daily or day after day so golden feathers they are by selling that they get good money with that they can live very happily so by selling those golden feathers mother and her daughters are very happily leading their life and one by one they are selling these feathers each golden feather got them enough money to keep them in comfort so each golden feathers by selling one golden feather to lead comfortable life how many are required that they are getting so with that they are leading very happy life right so like that very um, but the mother became greedy to get all the feathers as soon as possible so every day it is coming and giving and going off like that they are leading very pleasant and happy life up to that okay but what mother became greedy daily you are giving one with that just we are but uh, we are leading comfortable only but uh, if i take all the feathers at a time i can become rich also like that she, this mother thought so but the mother became greedy to get all the feather, feathers as soon as possible daily one only it is getting giving and later it uh, it may come or not so why don't we take all the feathers at a time like that she became very greedy so one day she said to her daughters now we will not trust this swan possibly she may fly away and never come back so my dear children <coughs> one day she said to her daughters she told her daughters what is that we will not trust this swan we cannot believe this swan maybe she may fly away and never be back it may not come yes once by giving these feathers it may not come again because now we are leading very happy life right like that the mother thought and she explained to her children if this would happen we will be poor again so the, the same way the swan flew away and it never come back if it happened then we become again poor so we will take all of her feathers when she will come back come here the next time so when she will come the next time we will take all the feathers at a time so we can sell them and we can lead very happy life suppose if we take only one if she did a, if she doesn't come again what can we do we cannot that mother said and the innocent daughters replied mother this we this will hurt the swan we will not cause any pain to her we will not cause cause means it is reason so we will not cause we will not reason for any pain so listen that the innocent daughters they said so mother this will hurt the swan so this may uh, if we take all the feathers the swan may hurt so we will not cause any pain to her because it, she, it helped her so now can we hurt it no so but the mother was determined so determined what is the meaning of determined <clears throat> determined means having made a firm decision having made a firm decision firm decision means strong decision firm decision means it's a strong decision but already mom had taken mother had taken very strong decision we cannot leave this um, uh, uh, swan at all 
so but the mother was determined to catch hold of the swan the very next time she comes whenever it comes the swan comes immediately we should hold it and we should take all the feathers that decision she had taken and so next time when the swan came the mother caught her and pulled out all her feathers pulled out so take it out all her feathers when the next time this swan came immediately she had taken all the feathers from the swan so now the golden feathers of the swan changed into some strange feathers so now she had taken all the gold feathers from the swan but when she had taken all the feathers at a time then all those turned into strange strange means unknown strange feathers means unknown feathers strange means generally i met a strange person that means i don't know who is he unknown person like that we call it so strange feathers this mother was shocked to see such feathers yes she expected all her golden feathers i can enjoy but now when those become unknown feathers not of gold completely color changed and unknown feathers the mother was shocked to see that type of feathers the golden swan said poor woman i wanted to help you but you wanted to kill me instead instead of that so the uh, poor woman i wanted to help you by seeing your condition i wanted to help you but what you want to do you wanted to kill me instead of my help so as per my wish i used to give you the golden feather according to my wish as per my wish means from my wish i used to give one golden feather now i think there is no need to help you at that time i expected a one golden feather i can give each time but now because of your greediness observing this you are ready to kill me also that's why no need to help you anything more now my feathers are nothing more than chicken feathers for you you know that chicken feathers hen feathers are there any uh, benefit useful no so now my feathers also almost like that only no use at all you cannot sell them that the swan said i am going from this place and will never come back so i expected every time to come and give a fe golden feather but now you because of your greedy you did like that that's why i i'm going away and i never come back that it said and the mother felt sorry and apologized for the mistake committed by her apologized apologized means asking forgiveness apologized apologize means asked for forgiveness so asked for forgiveness means please excuse me for this for this time first time like this by touching our uh, ears or else swear like that we say na so here she requested almost she apologized for the mistake committed by her she did the mistake na for that she said the golden swan said never be greedy and flew away so at last she, it said never be greedy so never be greedy means more and more wanted okay so then it flew away like that immediately it flew away okay children so this is the lesson the uh, a swan with golden feathers so if we have any benefit how we should use it but if we become greedy how it will be harm to us also that we can understand from this lesson okay children did you enjoy this one very good let's see the next one